Guys, I'm here today with Scott from Zip Wheels. How's it going? It's good, good. Okay, good. awesome. So, take us through what you guys have for this year. It's uh, it's been a big year for us. We've had a total of about 10 new products launch. Wow. Probably the most exciting, I'll start out with that, is our new Sub 9 disc. Okay. Um, this is a direct result of taking, you know, about 100 prototypes into the wind tunnel about this time last year. Okay. And with this particular prototype, we hit negative drag, decided to put it in production. Okay. And by negative drag, I mean at 15 degrees yaw angle, you're going to get a propulsion. Um, wow. Actually, checking out, we've got it charted out. These were our results from the San Diego uh, okay. tunnel. This line here represents your grams of drag with a sub 9 disc compared to a regular zip disc. Okay. So, you know, between 10 and 20 degrees wind angle, which is a very common wind angle, right. especially in New England, mm -hmm. you're going to have, you know, a negative drag aspect. Wow. That's huge. So, on top of that, we've also been working with uh, PowerTap for quite a while now. Okay. And uh, we've actually gone into developing our own hub that uses the PowerTap uh, electronic. Okay. So, this is the first and only power measuring disc that's going to be available. Okay. Uh, we've had Slipstream on it for uh, a couple months now. That sure. Level. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I, it should go into production here sometime later this year. Okay. Wow. That's huge. Everyone's been talking a lot about that wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Okay. And then kind of its, it's counterpart, the new one is uh, our 1080. Okay. It's got the same surface area as a tri-spoke, although it destroys it in the wind tunnel. Okay. Um, it was kind of taking an 808 to the next level. Okay. Uh, we worked with a couple different molds and we found that manipulating the shape and playing around with you know different versions of this that we came up with this rim that actually up to about 13 degrees beats a lot of discs in the wind wow. tunnel. So super great front wheel, uh, still gives you that great zip ride mm -hmm. and uh, it's a no compromise spoked wheel. Okay. So I think you're going to see a lot of these Ironman Y this year okay. um, as a rear wheel. So. Wow. I did a relatively deep rear wheel there last year, and last year was pretty windy compared to, you know, previous years it wasn't so bad. Yeah. Last year I was like, whoa! Uh, but it's nice to know you can get away with it. You know, as a bigger guy, I can sit on that wheel, so oh, yeah. it's nice and, to see. Yeah, one of the, the tips that I always give to somebody is if you stagger your wheels and have a wheel with more surface area in the back of the bike, mm -hmm. it's going to have a stabilizing effect as you're carrying more side wind underneath the majority of your weight oh. and taking some of the emphasis off of your fork. Okay. Wow. Look at that. This is educational as well. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you guys have anything else here at the booth that we should know about? Uh, Absolutely. Um, for a more entry-level wheel, um, we have our Flashpoint series. We've had these out for about three years now. Okay. And uh, this is a complete redesign. We're still using our rim that's manufactured in the same factory as the rest of the Zip Wheels in Speedway, Indiana. Okay. Um, we use a uh, an outsourced hub. Okay. It's still a Sapim spoke, but it's com okay. been completely redesigned. It's a super stiff, super aerodynamic ride. Alright. Awesome. I remember seeing that. I didn't know who was. I'm like, who's Flashpoint? Mm -hmm. Stick, so, okay. so uh, it's actually out of an old 404 mold. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. And, uh, probably one of the, the most the most blinged out <laughs> new uh, product that we have is our Vuma Quad crank. Okay. This is a no holds, you know, best you can get lightweight crank. For the whole setup, it's 570 grams with bottom bracket. Wow. So, you know, comparing it to, you know, a lot of the top end you know, drivetrains out there, yeah. you're going to save, you know, 150, 200 grams mm -hmm. over another crank. Also tests uh, super well for stiffness, okay. um, has great shifting, and uh, just kind of all around cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, that looks awesome. So, it's available in uh, both ceramic and standard steel bearings. Okay. So it, it's awesome. been a been a great seller. How about some of you share some arrow bars or something? Or? Yeah, yeah. That's um, probably the the most important for, for uh, you know our triathletes to be our Vuka arrow, okay. our Vuka bowl clip combo. Okay. Um, 
Both offer a wide range of adjustability while retaining you know, their aerodynamic factors. This one in particular, you can adjust your pads to where they're touching or just about to uh, your hand grips wow. with our extender kit. We also offer a riser kit. Okay. And the real cool thing about this guy is the oblong collet system we use. Okay. So by rotating the collets, you can adjust your uh, your extenders a pretty good variety of positions. Oh, interesting. Okay. So what it comes down to is you take this to one of your uh, you know your favorite fitter, and they could spend you know a good amount of time getting that perfect position, slightly out, slightly down, or slightly up. Okay. Oh, I forgot that. And uh, we also offer uh, ski tips, straight chicane extensions. Okay. Wow. That's huge. Awesome. Very cool. Hey, man. Well, thank you very much. Let me give a shot of you. Say goodbye. All right. Really appreciate your time. Thanks very much.